One of the first things you can do to be more secure if you work with a computer is to lock it whenever you walk away. Now this won't shut down or restart your computer. It'll just make it so you have to enter a password to get back in. If you use a Windows computer, you can lock it by pressing the Windows and L keys at the same time. If you're using a Mac, press Control, Shift, Power. It doesn't do you much good to lock your computer though if your password's on a post-it note on or around your computer. Speaking of passwords, let's talk best practices. Current guidelines suggest that passwords should be long, like 15 to 20 characters. You can make this easier by not just using a word and a number as your password, but using an entire phrase. But even still be random. Misspell a word, capitalize random letters, trade out letters for symbols or numbers. Remember, you're trying to make it difficult for computer algorithms that can go through the entire dictionary in seconds to guess it. Passwords should also be unique, and I know, this one's hard. By unique, I mean you shouldn't be using the same password on multiple websites. If you get hacked and they get your password, they'll be able to use that password to access any other sites if you're reusing it. Um, David, uh, quick query. How am I supposed to keep track of all these lengthy, unique passwords? One idea is that you could use a password manager. Password manager keeps track of all of your passwords and stores them in an encrypted environment. Check with your IT department for their recommendations regarding passwords and password managers. Speaking of local policies, you probably already have policies related to storing and sharing data. Your school should have a policy related to sharing data internally with teachers and other staff, as well as externally with parents. This is going to depend on what software your school uses and what capabilities you have for encryption. So check with your IT on this one and follow your school's policy. You're also going to need to know how to properly delete or destroy data that you're holding on to. When it's in digital form, it can be all over the place. Download folders, maybe on your desktop. Just because you're not using it anymore or you don't see it on your desktop doesn't mean it ceases to exist. Plus, if students are using computers, well, there's gonna be a ton of tracking data on those computers, like cookies. You're gonna wanna delete those now and then too. But remember, it's not just digital files you need to secure probably have paper files as well. Maybe they're in a filing cabinet or scattered somewhere in that huge pile of papers you call a desk. Janet. If you don't need the file anymore and it doesn't need to be held onto for archiving, get rid of it. Can't be stolen or used against you or your students if it doesn't exist. Also, don't just throw files with sensitive information away in the trash. You're probably gonna need to shred those first. And if you're gonna need to hold on to any physical files, make sure you keep them locked in a filing cabinet. Oh, and don't leave the key in the lock. That's not secure. Well, I'd love to say more, but coach is gonna make me run laps if I'm late for practice again. Oh, plus I've got that essay due on Fellini's Italian neorealism. Oh, and the SATs are tomorrow and I'm not gonna stay up all night playing Stargate Defender, again. And AP tests and oh, I've got to apply to my colleges out east. I wanna go somewhere where culture is, like New York or Connecticut. Somewhere where writers live in the woods.